la clase y bienvenida a la cocina la cocina del basilio hi again welcome to my kitchen today we're going to be making a very special dish now you may be asking what's the name of this dish se llama de comida es alfajores alfajores son de Perú y un poco difícil. See, the instructions make it seem very easy, but it's kind of hard to get the texture right. As you can see with my first attempt. Not exactly dough material, is it? Well, this time I'm gonna do it right. So, what do you need for alfajores? As you can see, you need azúcar, levadura en polvo, bicarbonato de sodio, harina, huevos, mantequilla, ex extracto de, de vanilla, maicena, sal y dulce de leche. Otras interpretaciones de alfajores son some people use powdered sugar to powder on the to decorate decorate <laughs> and also some people put alcohol on theirs um even though there's a lovely bottle of wine right here i can't use that and i'm pretty sure the school wouldn't be too happy if i brought that in so Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your stance, instead of the brandy my recipe told me to use, I'm going to replace that with water in attempts to not replicate the dough that I just showed you and then threw in the garbage off screen. So, let's get cooking. So first, you mix in what I like to call the dry ingredients. Cornstarch, flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. I'll whisk, I'll fork these together, but I'll mix them together basically. have to be so annoyed with me right now. Oh! They fell off. So now's the fun part. We put our sugar and our butter in a bigger, better bowl. A bowl that can save all of baking kind and maybe stop my voice cracks. The recipe I'm using says to use a mixer with a spatula fitted to it. I don't have that. Who do you think I am? A rich person or someone with the courage to ask his parents for things? Pfft. No. So I'm gonna take the slow way and just use a normal spatula and cry myself to sleep as this doesn't work. Now, before I go through this labor of love, for these alfajores, you might be asking, why would you put in this much effort for something? And I say, one, it's my midterm, two, love to bake, I need to get better at the difficult stuff, because I can't just be making sugar cookies for a career, and three, algo interesante sobre alf alfajores es, well, again, I really like baking, and I've never done a cornstarch-based cookie before, and I've definitely never boiled dulce de, dulce de leche. I forgot it already. That's how you know I'm good at this. But yeah, I've never made it before. I did make it. I 
And another thing before I start mixing, because I know you love it when I stall for things, I'd say now's a good time to put that horrible bottled water to use. Because even though, even though they, these are horrible for the environment, they're going to come in handy later. And also stay hydrated. I've got a gnarly sore throat because I'm not drinking enough. And this is just what the doctor and the egg doctor ordered. This butter is too hard. Hi, I'm back. And let me just tell you, if your recipe tells you to use a different tool, use it. I'm only using it so this frickin' butter will get in there and get mixed. But, otherwise, this is how to mess up your texture 101. So, refrain. Ah! Well, this looks creamy, doesn't it? And, on this, since I used the wrong tool and probably the wrong speed setting, I'm just gonna say this in the words of a great British Bake Off contestant. I've overworked my dough! You're gonna get a simple bowl and your two eggs. Now we're gonna crack these suckers. So we're gonna take this and what we're going to do, take these, these beautiful things, and just suck them on up. Now we're back to mixing in our big beautiful bowl instead of the tiny ugly one over there. And now comes that time in the night where we gradually mix the dry, ing the dry ingredients in with the wet ones. Now we shape the dough so it's prepared for chilling. See how nicely shaped this is? It's supposed to be a smooth disc, but I'm not very good at geometry, just the homework. We put this in the fridge for one hour to let it chill. Now, while we wait for that, I've got to tell you some things about Peru, the country that Alfajores hail from. I mean, Technically, they hail from a lot of countries, but this is the version we're using, so deal with it. So, let's discuss some natural wonders. The first place, El lugar se llama Machu Picchu. Es, está en Los Andes. Now, you may have heard about Machu Picchu before, but me interes, me interesa porque, well, it's a really big mountain and there are just, there's like an abandoned civilization on it and like, I don't like heights too much, but the thought of just going somewhere where life once was but isn't anymore, it's just like, it kind of feels like it would be a singular experience. Especially when I'm not in Italy to see that, like usual. <laughs> People are very much there. Now the second place, El lugar se llama Goktakos, Goktakos, Goktakaskada. Esta en Chachapoyas. Me interesa por qué. So this is a giant waterfall. And honestly, that should say enough because I really like water. So just like a beautiful waterfall would be amazing. 
Now our dough is nice and chilled. We're going to sprinkle some flour just all around the counter. And then we're gonna get our dough out of this bag and sit it on down there. We're also going to sprinkle some flour on top. And we get it to about one fourth of an inch thickness. So this seems like the right thickness. So now we're going to do the other fun part. You get a cookie cutter. I have a heart shaped one because I'm a nerd. <laughs> and you're going to obviously cut your dough. Now we have enough beautiful cookies to put on our baking pan and into the oven. But, oh no. I forgot to preheat my oven, which may sound like uh, excuse to finish the rest of my project and say all the things I need to say, but it's not. Now, let me tell you about some museums in Peru. El Museo se llama El Museo, Museo del Oro y Museo de Arte de Lima. Están en Lima. Both of them. Me interesan el Museo de Oro porque, well, basically the name is Museum of Gold. Apparently they have a bunch of gold weapons and artifacts there and I just think that's neat. Not much else. <laughs> now, Museo de Arte de Lima me interesan porque, I mean, again, not very complicated. I like art, and I like looking at art, so I can learn from it. So, yeah. Well, looky there. The oven's preheated now. Let's put these bad boys in. Can't wait till those come out. Now, while these things are baking, let me tell you about some things you can do in Peru. Because natural wonders and museums, they aren't enough to do on their own. You need some fun. La actividad se llama Three Day Iquitos Amazon Jungle Adventure at Heliconia Lodge. Ali, tú puedes apparently have a jungle experience, fish on the Amazon River, and hike through the Amazon rainforest. That sounds lovely, doesn't it? La actividad due se llama Rainbow Mountain Day Trip from Cusco. Ali, tú puedes go to Rainbow Mountain and hike all the way to the summit and just view, view these beautiful, beautiful mountains. Mmm, mmm, look at how good those came out. Now, we gotta let them cool before we go to the final delicious step. So now, this batch of cookies is ready for our final step. To lather them up with dulce de leche. You only want to lather half of these because they're going to go like a sandwich. Ooh, get that good drip. You know, if you boil a whole pot, don't be afraid to just slather them. And now, you put another one on top. Do you look at how good that looks? But enough about how it looks. Mmm. 
So, thank you for joining me in my kitchen. And that was how you make alfajores with some completely, completely related facts about Peru. See you next time.